what's up what's up everyone and happy wednesday i hope everyone is having a great day a beautiful day and a blessed day as always no matter how ugly it is outside because of this hurricane listen i hope that you are still having a beautiful day so i have a message that god dropped down in my spirit like as soon as i woke up for some odd reason, I'm starting to realize that God likes to really speak to me like as soon as I open my eyes to wake up and listen, Lord, I'm here for it. And the message, right, that he was giving me was from just being filled to the overflow. So I think the title of this video is going to be how to go from just being filled to the overflow because I feel like a lot of us right are in places and spaces in our lives where we are just like doing the bare minimum right where we're just doing enough to get by where we are even just doing you know just what God said and that is fine right that is you being obedient that is you being on the right path that is great but if you want to go from just being filled to the overflow, then you have to do things outside of the normal, right? You have to do things that are going to exceed, right, your daily routine because you want and expect, right, more from God. And God will meet us exactly where we are, right? He will fill us to the capacity that our faith has and the things that we ask and believe him for. But what if you made a conscious decision to say, you know what? I want more, so there for there, so therefore I'm going to do more. I'm going to step outside of what I normally do because I want God to exceed above my expectations because the scripture says that God will do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask think or imagine so god is in the business of exceeding right so you have to also be in the business of exceeding right the normal and understand that listen if you want to think of think of it like this you know a water bottle when you it's filled all the way up to the top it's just that it's full enough for you to drink it right to what it holds but what happens when it spills over? It spills over onto something else. Think about it like this as well. Whenever you are cooking, right, and you have um, and your pot begins to boil over, I like to think of it as because what's inside can't be contained. Come on, Holy Spirit. So we all have to get to a place in our lives where the things that God has placed down on the inside of us cannot be contained, meaning that we cannot be placed in the box, meaning that what we are doing not is not only for us, but it's also for other people, the, the people that this is going to touch. Once God fills me up and I begin to overflow, right, I'm going to touch the people that I come in contact with. I'm going to touch the people that are attached to me. That's what it looks like when you begin to get in the space of the overflow overflow you will begin to be able to receive a whole lot more than what you expected we have to get into this place in our lives where we're not okay with the bare minimum where we're not okay with living with just living mediocre and basic if you want more you have to show up and be bold and who God has called you to be. If you want more, you have to start asking. You have to let your prayers and your requests get bigger and bolder. Why? Because you want to, you want God to exceed what you ask for as well as you want to exceed your normal way of thinking, your normal way of speaking, your normal way of doing things. So these are some things that can help you get from just being filled. To the overflow. And I know without a shadow of a doubt. The thing that God has placed down on the inside of me. Cannot be contained. God cannot be placed in the box. So therefore I cannot be placed in the box. So whatever it is. That God is placing in me. Best believe that it's going to increase. And it's going to overflow on the outside of me. So everybody who reaches my videos. Everybody who I may. You know come in contact with. Outside of just you know being on, on social media. They're going to feel what it is that God has placed down on the inside of me because it can't be contained. 
It is too big. It's bigger than me. It's 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 as big as God has ordained for it to be. But guess what? It's not just for me. I'm not just in a place where I'm being filled. I'm in a place where I am going to be filled to the overflow. So I hope that this video has just helped some people, right? Just just get out right of that place of or that mindset of just feel me. Just give me what it is that you got, you know, to the top and I'm good. That's it. That's it. That's all. You know, you got to get from that place of of lack and poverty or, again, just the bare minimum and start getting to that place of overflow, of, of, of fruitfulness, of multiplication. Because once you touch somebody, you can touch somebody else. So it's not just going to stop. It's going to keep on flowing because that's what a river does. It flows. It continues to go. It doesn't just stop. That's the beautiful thing I love about the overflow. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for that revelation. Somebody, the overflow flows, right? It doesn't just stop at one, at one place. It continues to go on and on and on and on. So, again, if you want to even get to a place of continuing to go higher, of continuing to be blessed more, exceedingly and abundantly more, then you got to get to the overflow. Stop being satisfied with the feeling and let's get to a place of the overflow. So I hope that this video has touched, inspired, blessed anyone who has reached. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everyone who liked, comment, shares, and subscribe to my channel. And as always, let's be motivated, but most importantly, let's stay inspired.